So aim of today's practical is measurement of spur gear parameters using gear tooth vernier caliper. Prerequisites, gear and its type, gear terminology, instrument and its list count. Objectives, selection of tool and technique for determining dimensions of gear. Terminology of spur gear, first one is pitch circle diameter that is PCD. Second one is module, third one is circular pitch. Fourth one is addendum, fifth one is clearance, sixth one is didendum, seventh one is tooth thickness, and last one is tooth depth. Apparatus required gear tooth vernier caliper and surface plate. So, this is gear tooth vernier caliper. So, here you can see. So, it is having a two scale. So, this scale is located at horizontal direction, and again, this scale is located in a vertical direction so both horizontal and vertical scale having a, a main scale is fixed this is main scale and the vernier scales are moving with respect to the main scale the horizontal scale is used for to find out thickness of gear tooth so whereas the vertical scale is used for to find out the depth of gear tooth so before going to see before going to see terminology in depth we must relate the outside diameter which is required for to find out the different dimensions of gear tooth vernier caliper so now we will find its outside diameter with the help of horizontal scale so this is the spur gear whose uh, terminology we are going to calculate with the help of gear tooth vernier caliper so first uh, step or the procedure for to finding out its terminology the first step is to uh, calculate its uh, number of teeth so number of teeth are 28 now find out the outside diameter with the help of gear tooth vernier caliper so now i have done the proper setting here you can see so we will use uh, horizontal scale to find out the outside dimensions of or the outside diameter of gear tooth now just concentrate on a main scale so now here you can see the 60th division of main scale is perfectly traced to the zero of vernier scale that means the main scale reading is so now find out the vernier scale reading which is perfectly matching with main scale so on the vernier scale here you can see no any division of vernier scale is perfectly matching with main scale that means vernier scale reading is zero now the outside diameter of spur gear is main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into list count main scale reading is 60 plus vernier scale reading is 0 into list count 0 0.02 mm so answer would be 60 mm so in this way we can calculate the outside diameter of spur gear with the help of gear tooth vernier caliper now the step number two is to find out the gear tooth thickness as well as the depth of gear tooth so this is the thickness and if we measure the distance from uh, top line of tooth to the root so it will become a uh, depth of gear tooth so with the help of gear tooth vernier caliper we can measure this two dimension in a one pass so you can see on the vertical vernier scale the measuring plate is attached and on the horizontal scale so we can find its tooth thickness so let us see how we can find out its two dimension in one pass so now i have done the proper setting so first of all we will calculate the gear to thickness so here you can see gear to thickness on the front side also here you can see this is the front view the measuring plate of vertical vernier scale is perfectly uh, landed perfectly touches top land of gear tooth and the horizontal vernier scale with respect to main scale so perfectly touches with its roots position so in a one pass we can calculate its tooth thickness and depth of gear tooth okay now i have locked the position with the help of lock nut and we can easily find out so first of all we will see the gear tooth thickness just observe the readings on a horizontal main scale and vernier scale so now here you can see the main scale reading is 4 mm and the zero is somehow wide of 4 mm so we, we can find with the help of vernier scale 
सो मेन स्केल रीडिंग इज फोर एम एम एंड द वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग इज सो ऑन द वर्नियर स्केल यू कैन सी द पॉइंट नंबर टू दैट मीन्स द टेंथ डिविजन ऑफ वर्नियर स्केल इज परफेक्टली मैचिंग विथ मेन स्केल दैट मीन्स द वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग इज टेन टू थिकनेस वुड बी एम एस आर प्लस वी एस आर इन टू एल सी मेन स्केल रीडिंग इज फोर एम एम वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग इज टेन एम एम इन टू लिस्ट कॉन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू एम एम सो दैट मीन्स फोर पॉइंट ट्वेंटी एम एम गियर टू थिकनेस इज फोर पॉइंट ट्वेंटी एम एम नाउ द नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर इज डेप्थ ऑफ गियर टूथ सो डेप्थ ऑफ गियर टूथ वी कैन मेज ऑन अ वर्टिकल स्केल सो यू यू कैन सी द मेन स्केल रीडिंग इज थ्री एम एम एंड ऑफ द वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग इज यू यू कैन सी द सेवन पॉइंट ऑफ वर्नियर स्केल दैट मीन्स थर्टी फिफ्थ डिविजन ऑफ वर्नियर स्केल इज परफेक्टली मैचिंग विथ मेन स्केल दैट मीन्स वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग इज थर्टी फाइव एम एम नाउ द गियर डेप्थ ऑफ गियर टूथ विल बी एम एस आर प्लस वी एस आर इन टू एल सी सो मेन स्केल रीडिंग इज थ्री एम एम थ्री प्लस वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग इज थर्टी फाइव इन टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू दैट इज लिस्ट काउंट सो आंसर वुड बी थ्री पॉइंट सेवेंटी एम एम नाउ फ्रॉम द एक्सपेरिमेंट वी गॉट टू रीडिंग दैट इज गियर टू थिकनेस एंड डेप्थ ऑफ गियर टूथ सो सो रेस्ट ऑफ द टर्मिनोलॉजी वी कैन फाइंड इजीली फ्रॉम द एक्सपेरिमेंट मेजरमेंट ऑफ स्पर गियर पैरामीटर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ गियर टूथ वर्नियर कैलिपर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड आउटसाइड डायमीटर टू थिकनेस एंड डेप्थ ऑफ गियर टूथ सो नाउ वी विल सी the terminology of spur gear so here you can see this is the terminology of spur gear so let us understand first what is it so first parameter is so first terminology of spur gear is outside diameter of spur gear so here you can see this is how the spur gear is look like so this portion is called as top land so if we measure the dimensions from top land of one side to the top land of another side so this becomes outside diameter of spur gear so that is we have calculated from the experiment formula is main scale leading plus original scale leading into list count so we have a values from the experiment so main scale leading is 60 mm plus original scale leading is 0 into list count 0.02 so it will become 0 into 0.02 uh, answer would be 0 so total answer is 60 plus 0 is equals to 60 mm so outside diameter of spur gear is 60 mm so second terminology of spur gear is gear to thickness that is also we have calculated from the experiment so again formula is same msr formula is msr plus vsr into lc and values from the experiment main scale reading 4 plus original scale reading is 10 into list count 0.02 mm so answer would be 4 plus 10 into 0.02 it become 0.20 so final answer is 4.20 mm so third uh, parameter of terminology of spur gear is depth of gear tooth so depth of gear tooth also we have calculated from the experiment so formula is again same msr plus vsr into lc so put all the values in this formula so main scale reading from the experiment is 3 plus original scale reading is 35 and list count is 0.02 mm so answer would be 3 plus 35 into 0.02 0.70 so final answer would be 3.70 mm so this three values we have calculated from the experiment and on the basis of that values we can find all the rest values easily now let us see now look at the uh, nomenclature so so this is the magnified view of a spur gear here you can see spur gear is looking like this and we have taken into consideration two tooth for the better understanding so this is one tooth and this is another tooth ori already we have calculated and this distance is called as thickness that is also calculated and distance from here to here that is also we have calculated with the help of gear tooth that is 
depth of gear tube. Now the fourth parameter of terminology is pitch circle diameter. So in the gear nomenclature here you can see. So this circle is called as pitch circle. So this center line and dotted lines here you can see this. So this circle is called as pitch circle or pitch circle diameter. When two gear get engaged, so here you can see this is one gear and this is another gear. So when they get when they get mating properly, so here you can see the always the clearance is provided between them. So clearance is provided to avoid the clogging and jamming of gears. So at this point, when this uh, driver gear rotates, so it will get contact over here, and with the help of that contact, the driven gear rotates. And we can see imaginary circle because of the uh, dotted point. So this is called the pitch circle. At this particular point, the mating gear touches and gives motion to driven gear. Pitch circle diameter PCD. It is a diameter of circle which is by pure rolling action to produce the same motion on to gear. So it is denoted by capital D. And it can be calculated with the help of this formula. T into OD divided by P plus 2. So where T equal to number of teeth. So from the experiment uh, we have seen that number of tooth are 28 and OD that is outside diameter of a spur gear that is also we have calculated and its value is 60 mm. Now if we put these two values in our equation number 1. So equation number 1 becomes D is equals to T that is 28 into outside diameter that is 60 mm divided by T plus 2 that means 28 plus 2. So answer would be 28 into 60 divided by 30. Now the pitch circle diameter is 56 mm. So uh, next terminology of spur gear is model. So it can be defined as length of pitch circle diameter per tooth. So this is the pitch circle diameter. So length of pitch circle diameter per tooth. So this distance becomes so this distance becomes model. Length of pitch circle diameter per tooth. So model m is equals to d by t. D means the pitch circle diameter that is 56 divided by number of teeth that is 28 so answer would be 2 so model is 2 so next terminology of square gear is circular pitch it can be defined as the arc distance measured around the pitch circle from the flank of one tooth to a similar flank in a next tooth so here you can see circular pitch it is the circular distance which is measured from flank of one tooth to the flank of same side of another next tooth. So from distance here to here. So it is denoted by CP. So it can be calculated by the formula CP is equals to pi d by t. But we know d by t is equals to model. So CP becomes pi m so calculate it pi into model is 2 so answer would be circular pitch is equals to 6.28 now next terminology of per gear that is number 7 is addendum so here you can see it is the radial distance it is the radial distance which is measured from top land of tooth to the pitch circle so this distance is called as addendum and it is considered as one model. So addendum becomes one model and uh, the value of model is 2. So addendum becomes. Next terminology of spur gear. Yeah. Next terminology of spur gear is clearance. So it can be defined as it is the radial distance from the tip of tooth to the bottom of mating tooth space when 
the teeth are symmetrically engaged. Its standard values are 0 0.157 or 0 0.25. So its standard values are 0 0.157 into m or 0 0.25 into m. So answer would be the, m, the value of m is 2, 0 0.157 into 2, 0 0.157 into 2 that becomes 0 0.314 and the next value is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 into m that is 2 so this answer becomes 0 0.50 so next terminology of square gear is dedendum so on the gear nomenclature here you can see it is the radial distance which is measured from each circle diameter to the bottom land of gear tooth so this portion is called as bottom land so this line is called as bottom land or it is also called as root portion of the gear tooth Okay, from the nomenclature it is clear that uh, the addendum is addendum can be calculated by addendum plus clearance the value of addendum is 2 and uh, the clearance value we have two standard clearance so one is 0 0.314 so answer would be 2.314 or second standard clearance value is 2 plus 0 0.50 so answer would be 2.50 so these are the values uh, we got from the experiment so first parameter is outside diameter of gear tooth so outside diameter of gear tooth from the experiment is 60 mm second parameter is tooth thickness that is 4.20 mm so this is the tooth thickness so the value of tooth thickness that we got from the experiment is 4.20 mm depth of gear tooth so this is the depth of gear tooth so that is we have calculated from the with the help of gear tooth vernier caliper and its value is 3.70 mm so fourth parameter is pitch circle diameter it is also called as pcd so here you can see this is the pitch circle diameter and its value is 56 mm fifth parameter is model and its value is 2 mm next parameter is circular pitch so here you can see so this distance is called as circular pitch and its value is 6.28 mm. Seventh parameter, addendum. Addendum is 2 mm. Next parameter is clearance. When two gears get engaged, so the clearance is always available uh, between them. So this portion is called as clearance. So according to the formula, uh, we got two values 0.314 or 0.50 mm. Next parameter is dedendum. So again here you can see this is the radial distance which is measured from pitch circle diameter to the uh, root of or the bottom land of gear tooth. So from the figure it is clear that it is addendum plus clearance. So we have a two values of clearance so hence dedendum also we got two values one is 2 plus 0 0.314 that is 2.314 and second one is 2 plus 0 0.50 that is 2.50. So, so in this way we can calculate the different parameters of spur gear with the help of gear tooth for gear caliper. Thank you, thank you.